Thanks for joining me. A couple of updates to share. One is that, uh, let's see, K1 serial number 779 was just successful in getting from San Jose to Kent, Washington. Just had a short QSO with K7XH in Kent, Washington. Uh, he was running 100 watts at a dipole up at 70 feet, which is a pretty good feat. And I have a dipole laying on the roof and it was running 5 watts from the K1. So a little mismatch, but that was fun to talk to Mike. So on the topic of the $250 K1, uh, with the, the uh, 2SD880 in the output, which is an AF output transistor, it was doing uh, zero output because the F sub T of that transistor was 3 megahertz. That means uh, the gain is 1 at 3 megahertz, so I can imagine at 10 what it was. So the good news is, we'll zoom a bit, I did just today receiving uh, receive in the mail from, uh, let's see, a good seller from... Uh, uh, these guys from HC Baker Batteries and Electronics. We got the uh, NTE236 for a pretty good price of $14.50, but then it cost me $4 shipping, buck uh, thirty-six for tax, so I ended up paying $19.86 for a new output transistor. So uh, tune carefully and uh, be good to your radio. And it came up looking just like the old days in the old NTE packaging, and it looks to be still sealed. So I think we're in good shape there. And uh, to keep you up to date on how that worked, the original transistor should be a 2SC1969, which is a class AB RF amp uh, at 27 megahertz, uh, with a power in of 3 watts and a power out of 22. And the NTE236 is the same TO222, so base collector emitter, so we pass there. And uh, it has a power out of 16 watts and an IC max of 6 amps. So I think we've got a, a good transistor. You can see it was meant for a, sort of probably a CB radio service. They rated it uh, 16 watts at 27 megahertz. So that's going to go into the $250 K1. And the next thing up on the bench, I can't decide between putting that in or going back to follow up on all the comments I got about tuning up this radio using only received background noise. So it is true that I did come up with uh, less than ideal output um, by doing that. I ended up with uh, this kind of set of signals where I ended up with only 4 watts and 18 meter, uh, 17 meters. Let's fix that. I think I said that wrong in the video. It's also 4 watts and 17 meters and only five watts on 30 meters. So I will go tune up uh, those bands using the transmit section instead of the receive section to get those filters correct. I think that'll be the quicker of the two since everybody knows what happens when I open the $250 uh, broken K1. There's always more to do. So I'll go ahead and do this next. I'll uh, start up a quick video tonight and we'll get that tuned up and uh, hopefully restore the output power and uh, get the transmitter running right. So thanks for watching. Just a quick update tonight. See ya.